If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer the question on your own before listening on. In order to solve this question, what we need to do is examine the work done when lifting an object. And what we'll do is call that work WA. The A would just represent applied. And that just means that when lifting an object, we have to apply a force. And we can see in the diagram that indeed a force is being applied in order to lift this block up the ramp. Now, it's important to note that this applied force is pointing up the ramp, but the displacement of the block is pointing down the ramp. And if we look at that situation carefully, we could see that the angle between the displacement and the applied force is 180 degrees. So when we plug in for theta, we're going to make sure to plug in 180 degrees. We could next go ahead and plug in the applied force, which is stated as 50 newtons, as well as the magnitude of the displacement, which is stated to be 0.5 meters. And then once again, we'll have the cosine of 180 degrees. Now, when we work this out, we should get negative 25 newton meters, or if we prefer, we can just say joules. So this is the work done by the applied force as this block slides down the ramp. Now, we next note that the change in kinetic energy of an object as it's lifted up a ramp is equal to the work done by the applied force plus the work done by gravity. The question notes that the kinetic energy was increased by 80 joules. So we can write positive 80 joules on the left-hand side. We just figured out the applied work done by the applied force. So what we'll do is actually solve for the work done by gravity. And that's going to be relatively straightforward. We just add the 25 over to the other side. So we have 105 joules is equal to the work done by gravity. Now this is a number to keep in mind. Because next, what we want to do is go back to this equation. But this time, we're going to let the applied work go to zero joules. Now, why would we do that? Well, the question states that the rope is no longer being attached to the block. So if the rope is no longer attached to the block, that means the applied force disappears. And if there's no applied force, then, of course, the work done by that applied force has to go to zero joules. So we'll cross off this term. So that means that we can simplify the equation and just let the change in kinetic energy equal the work done by gravity. Now again, the work done by gravity is 105 joules. So that means that the change in kinetic energy is going to be 105 joules. So this is the change in kinetic energy when there is no rope attached to the block the change in kinetic energy when there was a rope attached to the block was 80 joules. So that's with the rope. So now it's a relatively easy comparison. We can see that when there was no rope present, the change in kinetic energy was greater by 25 joules. And so this becomes the correct answer to the question. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe. You can send in your own question to the email address on the screen and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.